with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. Vindication. I have been vindicated. It fucking pissed down last night and I was out there checking my drain working like a treat. Working exactly how I thought it was going to work. I should never have doubted myself. I should have yelled at the cunt more. That's my new regret. I didn't yell at that fucking builder enough. Fucking re-concrete the roof, you fucking idiot. Hey, hey, don't worry about the fucking crack. Just get a drain in there. The roof did still leak a little bit, but like four drops. I sat underneath the leak and counted every single drop. And it was really fucking hammering last night. Normally, it would fucking leak for a few hours. Now the drain's in, we got four fucking drops. And that's only because the rain's falling directly onto the crack and it's pulling up a little bit. A little bit's coming through. But once Boyle gets up there and starts fucking waterproofing as well as draining, this place is going to be like a fucking submarine. Airtight. I hope that fucking builder comes around now. I want him sitting there with the fucking chai and go, the drain fucking works, cunt. It works with one fucking drain. I'm planning on getting a few more up there. I want 20 drains up there. It was good though. I was real fucking worried that drain wasn't going to work. But once it started raining, I gave it like 10, 15 minutes. And I was like, all right, that's plenty of fucking water on that roof now. Let's see how that drain's going. So I got up there, shirt off, just in me nice little shorts, no undies. What's the point of getting undies and shorts wet? So I get up there. There was a lot of fucking lightning up there as well. And there's a lot of wires and lightning conductors on that fucking roof too. There are wires going from house to house that don't seem to have any purpose at all. I followed them. There's a mysterious black wire tied from our roof to the next door neighbor across, like it goes across to the middle of their roof and it's just tied off there as well. It's not doing anything. It's like a fucking zip wire for a fucking squirrel or something. I don't know what the hell's going on there. There's fucking shit everywhere here. It's chaos in these buildings. So I'm out there on the roof in the rain, my bald head, my white skin, fucking lightning. I look like powder out there. Remember that film? Apparently it's meant to be about a fucking pedophile. It was made by Nambler or some shit. I just remember that guy freaked me out when I was a kid too. So I'm out there inspecting the drain, seeing if it's clearing out the water. I was a little bit worried about that too because I didn't feel like he put it on a big enough angle, the drain. I forgot to tell you about that. I got into an argument with the plumber when he was here about the angle of the drain. I had to blow up with the plumber about it. I'm like, what have you done with the drain? How's the water going to clear out? You've got to put it on an angle, mate. He's like, it is on an angle. I'm like, I can see with my two eyes, it's not on a fucking angle. I'm like, you need to put it on an angle. How is it going to clear out the water? The water's just going to stay in the pipe. He's like, it's on an angle. This is all going through the missus. So I walk up to the fucking pipe and I look through it and I'm like, that is not on an angle, mate. When you've been in the industry as long as I have, mate, you know a fucking angled pipe when you see one. And that ain't an angled pipe. Now scrape it out and put it on an angle. He's like, it's on an angle. I'm like, it's not on an angle. I can see it's not on an angle. He's like, all right, pour some water down the pipe. So I get a bucket of water and I splash a little bit in front of the pipe. So if it's on an angle, it will drain down. And when I put the water in front of it, it drained perfectly. I was like, great work, boys. Great work. That's perfect. Perfect drainage. You never apologize. Never apologize to tradies. But later on when I was thinking about it, I was like, When I splashed the water down, there was a little bit of momentum. The momentum may have carried it down the pipe. So I was still a little sketchy because to the eye, to my professional eye, it did not look like it was on an angle at all. So anyway, I'm out there in the rain last night looking at me pipe and the area that I was concerned about that was pooling up was not even fully wet yet. There's an overhanging thing keeping that corner dry, but... Before the drain was in, it used to just pull up there. But when I got up there, it was still dry because that drain was just fucking taking the water out. It wasn't gushing out, I will say, but it was removing enough water quick enough for it to avoid pulling up over the crack. But there's other problems with that roof because it's so uneven. I probably do need a couple more drainage holes. But after the abuse I've given the builder... And this plumber, I don't know if they're willing to work for Boyle Constructions anymore. I think I've got the bug back, the construction bug. I just feel like building something now. 
I really want a sauna. <laughs> I really want a sauna. If I had a little two-person sauna on the roof, I don't think I'd ever leave India. That'd be it. There would be nothing to go home for. But I'm not too sure building a sauna on the roof for my personal use only. Out of the money we need for airfares home and to get a new fucking place is the wisest of decisions. But I've looked into it. It's going to cost about two grand or three, maybe four or five if I'm building it. That seems expensive. I reckon I could get it down lower. Maybe I don't need the rock heater and all that sort of shit in my sauna. Maybe I'll just make it out of tin, paint it black so it gets really hot in there from the sun and just put a fucking chair in there. And I'll build it directly over the crack, kill two birds with one stone. I won't need to waterproof it anymore. And I'll have a sauna. I reckon that would work because I go up there and sit in the sun for like 15 minutes and I'm fucking sweating. If I was in a little tin shed painted black so it absorbs the heat, makes it hotter with a little chair in it, I'm sure that would get just as hot as a fucking sauna, wouldn't it? And you're saving on electricity, so it's carbon neutral. I think this is a good idea. I'm like Elon Musk now. I'm making the world a better place with my ideas. Anyway, it just feels good to be right. I'm vindicated. I went from arrogant to humble back to arrogant very quickly. But that's a building game for you, isn't it? All right, that's it for me tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, share it around with your friends. Hit me up on social media. I'm Boyle Comedy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see ya the fuck later.